Hello, everyone. This is The Mad Review. I wanted to kind of uh, give you guys a little something different today. I know that uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, they are going to release their consoles after the games are released. I know it's going to actually be longer for, you know, um, Xbox than it is PlayStation. But still yet, you know, you're looking at some of these games are actually going to be out like a week to two weeks before, and in some cases almost three weeks before the damn consoles come out. Now, I'm going to set and call my local GameStop, and I'm going to record this call. I'm going to see if actual rumors, supposedly, they're supposed to be allowing you to buy the games. Uh, for like Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. And you're supposed to be able to bring it back in for $50 store credit. So let's see if this is something my GameStop knows about. And if not, we'll call another fucking GameStop. We'll see what's happening. So let's call. Let's see what happens. Let's Let's hopefully this works out correctly. If I can get them to answer the phone. Hello, oh, GameStop. The more you trade, the more you save. This is Michael. I can help you. Hello, Michael. Got a question for you. I'm interested in Call of Duty Ghosts, but I see it's not coming out for PS4 until, like, oh, you know, the, the console will be released before the game. Um, I heard that you were doing, like, a, um, you could pick it up for, like, PS3, and you could bring it back in and get fifty dollars is that correct how does that work um i know it's, it's kind of complicated for the for the playstation 3 and playstation 4 because sony has actually said that um anybody who buys the ps3 version of call of duty will be able to get the um digital download version of modern uh, call of duty ghost on ps4 for just 10 bucks um the thing is though that's a promotion that's running through sony and uh, not GameStop. Um, so I'm not sure how it works or how they're going to track that. Because um, they, they haven't really given too much details on it. I would assume that it's anybody who buys a, uh, a copy through GameStop, will, Sony will offer their account a like $10 bonus. Um, but it's not something that GameStop's going to... Um, you know, GameStop's not going to be the one that gives you fifty dollars for it. Essentially, it would be the Sony giving it to you for ten bucks. If that okay. makes any sense. Okay. Now on the Xbox 360 and Xbox One, that that's actually something GameStop is doing. Where when you buy the 360 version, you're going to get a guaranteed fifty dollars trade in towards the Xbox One version. So it works out to be the same ten dollars. It's just one's through GameStop and the other one's through Sony. Okay, so I'd actually have to contact Sony and see how that works, right? Yeah, that's what I would recommend. Um, so I, the only the only definite that I know is that it is a digital copy of Call of Duty that you're going to get for ten bucks, not an actual physical copy. Okay. So you, so you will need uh, an internet connection in order to to play it and, and download it. So okay, okay. Now I see it's actually the PS4 is coming with mic built into console. Uh, how's that going to work? Is it like a what kind of mic is that? It's going to be a um, earbud with a chat cable on it, so like an earpiece. So will this it's not going to be an actual headset. It'll be so just like a like a kind of like a headphone, but just one headphone. Right now, will this actually plug into the controller, or will it plug into the console? <clears throat> um, I would say it'll probably plug into the controller, but that's just a educated guess on that one. Okay. All right. Well, appreciate your help. You have a good day. You too. Okay, guys, that was my local GameStop, and you kind of heard, so it looks like I'm going to have to do a little more investigating. Is that so? How can I help you today? Yes, that's so I have a question for you. Um, I was actually on the phone with GameStop, and I'm looking at buying Call of Duty Ghosts and Battlefield 4 mm -hmm. for PlayStation 4, um, and they were telling me something about a $50 um, if I buy it for PS3, uh, what do you know about that? Uh, someone was telling me something that there's some kind of promotion going on where I can actually, you know, get fifty dollars or be able to buy Call of Duty Ghosts for ten dollars. Do you know anything about this? There 
was a PS Store promotional where you get titles for every fifty dollars spent, but that was earlier this year. Okay, well, they was telling me something about if I buy uh, Call of Duty Ghosts for PS3. Uh, I don't know if it was from you guys, or I don't know if it's from them. They they said they don't do it, but uh, Microsoft is doing something like that, where you can actually get, you know, um, $50 back, you know, from if you... Not at the moment. No, we don't have any promotions going on at the moment right now, uh, as far as any $50 vouchers if you buy a certain amount of games. We know... We had one earlier this year, like in February, like from February started, and it ended in April, where you get $10 every $50 you spend. Well, that was earlier this year. Yeah, well, what I'm talking about, though, is, uh, you know, for Call of Duty Go specific, considering, you know, if people buy it for PS3, and then, you know, it's the same game pretty much, but if you're going to be playing on PS4, you know, it's supposedly supposed to give you $10 for the whole game for PS4. No, we don't have that promotion going on. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. No problem. Anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. Thank you. Big fun place you have today. Okay. So you heard it straight from Sony. It looks like um, Sony guys, you're going to be kind of we're going to be kind of fucked when it comes to uh, this promotion they're actually talking about. Um, I was kind of looking forward to actually being able to get the game, um, you know, and, and doing something with it. My advice to you guys, if if you're on Xbox and you're going to buy the game, um, I don't think you're going to have a problem because see, it's going to be GameStop, from what I'm gathering from every source, of course, is GameStop's going to give you $50 back for your game. Uh, so, you know, you guys will be set for Xbox One. Well, you can only get the uh, other game for it. They say ten dollars, but you know they're going to tax you. So you're looking at maybe you know twelve, fifteen dollars, which is not bad. You know it's not bad. Um, you know for you know the upgrade to the game. But for guys like me, I'm going to get the PS4. It looks like I'm going to be kind of fucked in that scenario, where you know I'm not going. You know we're going to have to actually go to eBay with our game. Because I'm thinking about buying it for PS3, doing a little video. I kind of hate to because, you know, all the, the prestiges and shit like that. And I'm going to get into it. I'd kind of rather do it. I may actually just go to Redbox and rent, to be honest with you. Uh, rent it for a little while. Um, that's my advice to you guys. I would probably just rent the game. Uh, and, and if anyone has any other information, please feel free to come forward to me. Post it in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you guys what you're thinking. I think that, uh, you know, um, GameStop's actually helping, you know, Xbox with this. And, you know, I think it's unfair that it, we're not getting helped on the, the Sony PlayStation line. But anyway, guys, this has been the Mad Review. Wanted to kind of give you guys a little heads up on that today. Uh, because there's a lot of people, you know, that you just want to know. And I'm one of those people. I just wanted to know what's going on. Uh... Click that subscribe link, share, rate, comment video. Um, again, this has been TMR, Michelle Amazon. Till next time, guys. Take care.